So I may have been slacking off for this video just a little bit. So as you guys know, I got to like level 18. I think it was in the last episode that I took my new slot over to the Forsaken Isle. And I told you guys that I would make sure that I would at least have my clipping software ready in case anything interesting happened. And I'll be honest with you, nothing really interesting happened as expected because all I did was go from level 18, to level 35, server hopping from server to server, getting myself into parties and just beating the Moko to a boss, Moglos and Mogloko senseless until they gave me their money drops and everything of the above I, I just needed the xp basically after i got enough money through the bounty book or the monster book and also just by picking mush queen off the floor i got enough money and enough levels to get myself this night strider armor and the night strider helmet these are my stats currently i got to 30 decks i am now at 94 strength which is really good for my berserker which is what i'm going for and let me go ahead and show you guys what i have in my inventory i did not end up selling anything i'm almost at one gold and also one interesting thing that did happen that i did take a clip of but honestly it's still not that interesting is i managed to survive the entire moko to a boss fight without dying once it's like a level 20. it's really not that impressive or all that difficult like it's hard especially if you're a warrior but it's also not that difficult if you just understand how moko to works. so it's uh, I, I decided that i'm not gonna show you guys that however i picked up a lot of different things as you guys can see here so much things that it almost filled up half my inventory which i do have the double inventory game pass but it filled up the almost one entire inventory essentially so i'm gonna sell a lot of this stuff and then i'm gonna try to head over to the pit to start leveling up some more let's just see how much i get the bottom right look at the mogul melon money go up oh my goodness just from mogul melons alone i made around 159 silver added on with all the other stuff i got 165 silver from that can i add on any of the potions okay it's still going up i like it when the numbers continues to go up 182 silver 1.1 gold and i'm not even done yet because i can still sell some of the other stuff that i have that i don't use i made enough to get myself to 1.1 gold you see this is hilarious to me considering the fact that that entire time that i was leveling up oh by the way i also put some basic scrolls on these since i won't need them later but it's hilarious to me to think that i start off this slot and this entire video series with me trying to sell one singular giant token to somebody so i can make a tiny form of money <laughs> and now i have 1.1 gold and i'm level 35 literally all it takes is for you to get to aya at level 10 that's that's quite literally it but now we can go ahead and use this nilgarf rune and it's gonna be so weird to finally be back in nilgarf actually before i do that i should probably check out the warrior stronghold because i need to get that better gear even though that the night strider armor within itself is really solid there might be a better sword there to be honest if i'm really thinking hard about it i don't know what could be better than the level 28 gear and also the fact that i gotta get berserker so i'll show you guys where that is as well but before that let's go ahead and see if this npc sells that level 28 sword it should okay yeah you do all right awesome i'll buy two steel swords from you real fast because i'm gonna need it because you know berserker just to give you guys an idea of what it was like using my other sword this is 62 weapon attack this is 98 weapon attack it was paid by the looks of it though my helmet and my armor is better the only thing i really needed an upgrade to was this steel sword which i have now and now it's time to go to the berserker area so what you guys want to do is you guys want to head up these stairs here i'm pretty sure there might be a faster way to get up but i doubt it honestly you go through this door and then you'll be up here and then i think you want to go through that door if i remember that correctly all right through the store up the stairs and berserker i want to become one thank you that was really anticlimactic. <laughs> and now i can equip two steel swords look at me now and now i can also naruto run nice anyways though now that i have eight more ability points let's go ahead and start putting things in i want to just max out blade spin as fast as possible so i'm just gonna go for that but also i think i'm gonna use one point so that way i can buff my tiny little bit of my blade spin there now i can turn into a beyblade this is something that i've been wanting right here man i'm very happy <laughs> Now, just in case, what I want to make sure I get is I want to make sure that I get that good old warrior rune real fast. I'm going to buy like five of them for now. That should be enough. But now let's head back to Nilgarf. And maybe I can actually buy myself an Azariah's Edge or a Scrap Sword before I even go into the pit. Also, here's another area for you guys real quick if you guys want it. So we have the normal shop here, but there's another NPC shop here. And no, it's not Monsieur Fred that I'm talking about. Oh, can I do the fancy jump where I go up here? And then Yeah, I can. Awesome. But if you go past Monsieur Fred all the way over to like this fishing pond and back here there's this shop here where you can buy the level 28 gear for yourself as well i bought myself four more nilgarf runes just in case i like the idea of having five of the runes on me at the moment on my more wealthy slots i like to have 20 of each just because yes okay what i want to do real fast is i'm gonna try to server hop to the biggest nilgarf server see if anyone is selling any of the items that i might want in the future such as a scrap sword and azariah's edge a forgotten helm stuff like that
Yeah. All right. After just being in this server for a little bit, it doesn't seem like much has really happened. So I'm just going to show you guys how to get to the pit from Nilgar. All right. So what you guys want to do, if you guys want to go to the pit, head over to the fishing pond in Nilgarf once again. Then you can head into the Nilgarf sewers through this little like sewer hole right here. There we go. Nilgarf sewers. Down here, there's a couple things that you can do, such as a quest line. But I'm going to be honest, I'm just going to ignore the quest line. Instead, I'm just going to head straight over to this homeless guy because you can get free scrolls from him if you donate enough money to him. I think you can only donate to him every hour, maybe every 10 minutes, something like that. But whenever you're passing by this guy, just make sure that you check if you can donate to him because he eventually gives you rewards for donating. Excuse me, bag it off of me. So what you guys want to do is you want to keep heading straight head past this rock. This game got a lot more dark ever since they updated the lighting once again. You head to your left over here, pass through this gate, go into this cell right here, fall all the way down towards the bottom of the ladder. And then you want to go behind the ladder this way through here. And then you have two pathways to go, go into the right sewage hole thing. And then you can pretty much just head straight down. You don't have to worry about anything. You just go straight. And then you'll be out here in this ratty area where you can just keep going over to your left where this sewer grate is. And then you head down it. And now here's where the maze comes in. You'll be met with this like fork in the road. Go to the right. And then you just keep going right until you pass up this skull. You go through the barrel area here. There's going to be like a Wendigo skull right here. And then you head to your left a little bit. And then you fall down and you go into this middle top area right here. You just keep going straight. You turn to your right. Go in this hole. And then you might have to shift lock here. For mouse and keyboard, it's tab. You just basically slide yourself through the little crack in that wall. And then you're able to go through here after talking to the pit dweller who is going to be like, you can't go in there, but wait, never mind. You're powerful. And then next thing you know, you're you're in the pit. So if you guys already know where the pit is, I just felt like it was important that I show the way to get there instead of being like, wow, I'm here in the pit now. Nice. So now we do the fun process of leveling up. The issue is, is I decided to go warrior. So this is going to be less fun for me since I have to do a war cry and then I have to do blade spin and then nothing dies to me because because everyone else is already getting the kills. At least I have a decent amount of health. That's always a plus. And uh, we just keep spinning here until level 50. Honestly, I don't do as bad of damage as I was expecting. I thought that my damage wasn't going to be great, but it turns out it's not bad. I almost died from that. I nearly died. And this is why we like to have mighty subs. Maybe I can look for a party. The issue with the pit is that not a lot of people actually do parties here. This is kind of a farming area for high levels who just wanting to get some drops from the pit, as well as an area for people to try and level up to the max level. Over Overall, it gets, it gets pretty rough out here. I'm not going to lie. Another issue is, is that I need to get myself through the gauntlet and through the Whispering Dunes area, because if I manage to do that as well, what will more than likely happen is I would have better gear. But the thing is, is that this gear is good enough for now, because getting myself through there would be a pain. Well, that's a lot of slimes. Please come here. Please come here. Yeah, hit all of them with all of them as much as I can. How, what even just hit me? Was the AoE that big? This makes me feel for you guys who are warriors out there. But trust me, when you get to level 35, level 40, any of those levels, you come here and you start farming the slimes, you won't regret it. They are some really solid XP as long as you're not dying every 30 seconds. So you, you'll be fine. Get off of me. Get off of me, please. Ah, the damage. All of them just collapsed onto me at once. The pain. If you guys watched this far into the video though, and you guys want to see me go even further by getting all the end game gear required on this slot, let me know by giving this video so much love in the comment section, likes, and by also subscribing with notifications on. All of that means a lot to me, and it would also help me understand and know that you guys like this, and you guys would like to see a lot more of this slot, at least to the point where I get it to end game. And when I say get it to end game, I mean I'm gonna get all of the end game gear for this berserker, but I'm not gonna go and get it gold tier. Just because, listen, man, I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna get this slot to gold tier stuff, man. That's just pain and suffering right there. It could be fun for another time, though. Definitely could. Be. And for those of you guys who are wondering what my endgame gear is going to be, I want to use Scarab Tongue Boots, Azariah Edge, Scrap Sword, Gladiator Armor, and Forgotten Helmet. I think that's what my endgame gear is going to be like. But another thing to look out for when you're farming these big slimes for levels is that they can drop a lot of different items. I'll go ahead and show you guys that real quick, actually. They can drop a Scrap Sword and all these other awesome items as well. But what you would be looking for is probably Hobo Armor and Scrap Sword. If you guys get either of those, then you guys are pretty solidly set for a little while. All right, spin on you guys here real fast ow please stop you guys hurt a lot actually all right ground slam that did practically nothing get out of there it's okay you know what? another blade spin eat this that did nothing <laughs> i'm out of there 
Also, you guys are wondering where you guys can even get the hobo armor because I feel like that one is a little bit confusing. To get hobo armor, you guys have to kill the baby slimes, I believe is where you get it from. Even though I did not level up in this video, hopefully you guys can understand how effective this area can actually be, especially if you decide to start using a better swords and go to the gauntlet and get Whispering Dunes unlocked and get the gear from there as well. But trust me, the pit is a very effective, very awesome place to go. When I see you guys next, I may have bought myself an Azariah Edge or a Scrap Sword or maybe have even earned it myself. And I will also probably be max level just because I want to update you guys when I actually get that far. But for now, I think I'm going to have to end this episode here because I want to just get you guys caught up and show you guys my progress getting myself to the pit. But ultimately, I'm stuck here in the pit farming these level 46 slimes until I'm level 50. That's literally where I'm going to be on this slot for the rest of my time until I see you guys next. But anyways, without further ado, I can't wait to see all of you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!